G'day, it's uh, Chris here from Pits and Giggles. Uh, Ben's asked me to have a bit of a chat with you today uh, about technology and barbecue. So I'm a uh, IT guy, uh, as you can see by my sedentary lifestyle, and uh, enjoy a bit of technology and I always like my gadgets. So, uh, of course, doing barbecue and getting in, I had to find a gadget uh, that could help. And the gadget I came across was Smartfire. So Smartfire is an electronic barbecue controller. Uh, been, uh, it's an Australian product, uh, designed and manufactured by um, Mark Tyrrell uh, down in Melbourne. Uh, and he distributes it all himself, uh, it's a home business. Uh, and he's a yeah, nice guy and up for helping you whenever you want. So what is the Smartfire? So the Smartfire is a, uh, a small unit that quite simply, if I can grab it out here. So this little unit, plugs into the side of your barbecue. Uh, usually the, um, we're running it in a WSM uh, and into Weber kettles. Uh, and what it's got, if you look around on the back here, you can see a bit of a grill. Now, so inside there is a fan. So on the bottom, you've got spaces to put probes in uh, and the power cord. So it just powers off USB, standard um, one amp uh, USB power. So you can use your phone charger. The first uh, probe uh, goes into the, the pit, so it just sits above your grill. And then the other three are for me. And how it works is basically once you get your probe up, or once you get your pit up to temperature, uh, the smart fire can kind of kick in and help, and it stabilizes it by controlling the incoming air uh, into your pit. So that's why you use the fan. So the fan goes up and down uh, as it runs along uh, to, to maintain that consistent temperature. So how do you sort of, you may notice there's no screen or anything on it. And so how you actually control it is you just control it with an app on your phone uh, or iPad. Now, because we love our smart fires, and Mark gives us a bit of, uh, you know, we, we actually sell a couple for him, uh, and he does some sponsorship for us for our team. Uh, and one of the reasons uh, he liked us and what we do uh, is we have this little setup uh, that we've worked out. So that's just the, a nice TV so that people can actually see what's going on um, in our cooks uh, and where we're up to. So this is just a, 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 just a standard TV that's linked back to an iPad behind. So if you actually sit and watch, uh, watch on the screen there, you can see that the, uh, the top temperature there uh, is uh, the pit temperature. So in this case, the, we're running it in our, our small WSM uh, and it's actually just starting to cool down. We're, we're sort of boating at present, uh, and so that's the cool down. But quite simply, you just set whatever temperature you want uh, and then the fan controls uh, the temperature from there. Uh, in addition, you'll see uh, in the extra list down here, so they're the actual temperatures of the meat uh, going through. And it'll set alarms for you when it's just about cooked uh, and where things are going. And how you see, again, you just click on the, uh, click on the actual, uh, each number, and you can set the temperatures and what type of meat it is and, and, and what you're after. So it all works rather well. And the tricky, uh, one of the cool things it does, uh, you hit on the graph and you get a really nice graph uh, of the cook uh, as it's going along. So in this particular one, you can see the red line uh, is the pit temperature, uh, and you can see the target temperature is straight along here. So this is the WSM, so we keep opening the bloody door too much in the last few hours, uh, getting towards the end. Uh, but the smart fire adjusts for that and, and restabilizes the temp. And then this is the meat temp uh, we were aiming for. And you can see I've got a massive stall going on, <laughs> uh, with uh, as you do with, with, with pork sitting in there. Um, but what if you can, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, uh, but you'll see this white lines uh, in the background. Uh, what that is, that's the actual fan operating. So that's the fan kicking in to uh, push that air in uh, and get it running. So, as I said, quite a cool little unit, quite easy to use. Uh, it hooks into your, into your Wi-Fi in the house, uh, which makes it really handy because you can actually walk off them with your phone. Because it uses Wi-Fi, connects to the cloud, you don't actually have to stay there with it. So while most barbecue temp controllers and things, you've got to be within 10 metres of it for it to work on your phone. Uh, not the smart fire because you're not actually connecting directly to the unit. Uh, you're actually connecting through the internet and through the cloud to get to it. So it means you can uh, put your pork on or put a brisket on, walk off, leave your pit, go to Bunnings, go do the shopping, uh, have, check your temperatures every so often. Uh, and if it starts to look a bit flaky, you ring the missus and tell her to go, <laughs> go down and uh, give it a bit of a spray and, and have a bit of a go. But it's a great little piece of kit and, uh, you know, full. Uh, 
full credit to Mark uh, for the work he's put into it, uh, and he's still working on upgrading it and working new bits. So jump on, uh, jump on Facebook, or even have a look around the ABA page, and uh, you'll see that the links to Smartfire are in there. So that's that's all from me for Chris from Pits and Giggles. Um, have, try again. Uh, been sitting here having a bit of a chat with Ben, talking about technology, and uh, enjoy your day.